on. I appreciate your patience. Um, public input. Anyone here wishing to make a statement? Let me show you the time works for you. Good evening, David Pearl, 79 Main Street. After attending the 11 hours of the most recent um, hearing, I'm left with a few questions that I'd like to pose to the chief. Um, is it against the law to possess fake drugs in a school if the drugs are not represented as real or not attempted to be sold? I'm not going to get into it. Okay. RSAs. Well, I think. I just this, posed this question. I know that, but I, I think you and I have had the, that discussion before. If he's not going to answer. Okay. Okay. Then I'll as long as you, as long as you uh, recall comment. our discussion about that. Yeah, I will comment on that then. I, I'm asking him because he is the chief law enforcement officer in the town, and after attending that meeting, I thought that that was an unresolved issue. Uh, and personally, I would like to know the answer to that. Uh, I have another question. Um, the possession of or electronic transmission of pornographic material, is that a felony? Of underage pornographic material? I'm not going to discuss he's, what was discussed. I'm not going to answer the question again. Okay. Thank you. In December of 2008, why was an order in force that the SRO would have no overtime? No. My comment would be that repeatedly during the, the hearing, we heard that the the lieutenant and captain were uh, enforcing an order that there was no SRO overtime, but we never heard at the hearing what the reasoning was that that order was in place. And I think that's a question that we're left, the public is left unanswered out of the hearing. And that's why I asked the question tonight. On December 11th, why couldn't Captain Cecilio or Lieutenant Klein leave the oral boards to deal with the sexting issue? No answer? No. My comment on that would be, um, Again, listening to the hearing, it was seemed as though they could not leave the oral board. My understanding of an oral board is that it was really they were interviewing potential police officers for our own department, in which case I would think it would be very easy for them to excuse themselves to deal with a problem that was going on in our police department, and I'm sure that those recruits would have understood that. Uh, again, we were left with no explanation of what that would happen. On December 11th at 3 o'clock, when Officer Dathina was ordered to leave Collie School, should a detective have been dispatched to the school? Okay, um, again, I'm asking that question because he's a chief law enforcement officer in the town, and not being a police officer myself, it's my understanding that when such an issue was going on and a patrol officer would be leaving, that he'd be relieved by a detective, pass that information to the detective so that he could continue an investigation. And from what I heard at the hearing, that did not happen. And finally, uh, do you have a plan that you could share with us to improve the situation at the Hooksa Police Department? As I said before, the command staff, uh, during our meetings, we've discussed many issues. And um, I don't have a plan laid out that I'm going to give to the public at this point. The staff Thank discusses you. many different issues. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, um, public input? Over at that point. Right now? Yep. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh God. David Pearl. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you give me just one second? Yeah. I apologize. I forgot to turn on the video. 79 Main Street, that's me. <laughs> David Pearl, 79 Main Street. Just wanted to share my frustration with my prior public input. Uh, some three years ago, I became involved in this issue. I emailed the chief and I asked him a few questions. He invited me to this forum and, and encouraged me to ask questions. I think last year, um, the chairman and I kind of went around a little bit about what the format for questions were. 
And the way that I remember that was that the chairman said, if it was something a fact that could be answered, it would be. And if it was something that needed to be considered, it would be brought back. Um, and I also respect the um, September after the hearing when the chairman said, we're not going to discuss the prior hearing. My questions tonight were things that came out of the hearing that I, that I listened to. And as a citizen, I found well, I was left with questions. And I understand in that hearing, it was not necessarily your job to determine those questions. You were there about a grievance. But having heard that in public session, I was legitimately left with questions about what laws pertain to our children in our schools and what the proper procedure is for investigations, um, not only with the school, but anywhere else. Now, I think I was totally legitimate to ask the chief those questions tonight. I also find it very rude that when I ask the chief a question, he will not say to me that he's not even going to answer. He looks at me and says nothing. I found it particularly embarrassing when we had someone sitting right here beside us tonight who's now going to be doing an audit of this police department. I think he could at least say to me, I choose not to answer, but he will not look at me. And the other point I wanted to bring up was about six months ago, and I didn't make a point of this, I have it on tape, the chief said he's not going to answer my questions. And repeatedly, I have come up here and asked questions and not been answered. And other people have come up here and asked questions which are answered. And I feel as though he's singling me out. He may not like my criticisms of him, but that does not stop my ability to be treated like any other citizen in this town. When I sit here and I follow the rules that are prescribed by this commission, which I think I have, so therefore I object to not being given those answers about the felony and the proper way that a, a, a investigation is conducted. And I don't know what else we're supposed to think after we listen to 10 hours and we hear contradictory statements from sworn police officers in Hookset. Aren't the people of Hookset left with questions? And, and, and where do we get those answers? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.